Torin. You were a talented singer and piano player as a kid. Um, <laughs> what made you decide to stay with doing Christian music as opposed to when you're talented, you're talented, you can do pop music, all <laughs> kinds of things? I think for me it's just singing about what I believe in the most, um, which is my faith, you know. I, I just can't really separate my everyday experience or my art from what God has done in my life. Yeah. And so I love singing about songs of faith and hope and joy. And At such a young age, have you had a coming to Jesus moment yet? Oh uh, yeah, I've had lots of those. Mm -hmm. My mom helped me with those. <laughs> <laughs> we will have a come to Jesus moment right now. now. <laughs> and then start singing about uh, yeah. it, right? Whether oh. Jesus is here or not. No. <laughs> you um, have a coming to mama moment. Yeah. All right, you're a former front man for the American Christian pop rock band, Royal Taylor. I remember mm -hmm. years ago when I first interviewed this guy you may have heard of, Kirk Franklin. Oh yeah. Right? And people looked at Christian music differently mm -hmm. because we were dancing, it was hip hop style, it was fun, we were making yeah. The noise and you know up until that point a lot of people were like well can you really put Christian music into that kind of genre right. yes a great message yeah. can be in any genre of course yeah and I think that the spirit of it is what's so important people have all these misconceptions about God faith church that it's boring it's dead it's dull and I think that artists like myself pioneers like Kirk who's on my album by the way uh. crazy uh, <laughs> crazy story with that but they really led the way in creating space for artists like myself to come into our own and express ourselves through dance and rap and whatever we're feeling, you know? And yeah. I think that's connecting with a lot of people because it's real. You have a solo career now. Yeah. Um, and you also serve as one of the worship pastors at Lakewood Church, so you walk the walk, talk the talk. Yeah, I try to. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. But that's really cool to be able, when you say it's a part of your life and so much a part of your life, not only your livelihood, but also in the sense that you're guiding other people. Yeah, well, I just, I love the local church. I love Lakewood. Um, especially, but I, I always say this, that Jesus saved my soul, but the church saved my life. Mm -hmm. um, it was in the local church where I realized I had something, that God had given me gifts, that there was a calling on my life, that I had a purpose. I didn't find that at school. I didn't find that anywhere else. It was the church that cultivated those gifts. So for me, whether I'm touring or creating music, I'm going to be plugged into the church. It's yeah. just what I believe yeah, it's in. It's your foundation. Yeah. Okay. What's it like to get the call and be told, hey, been nominated for a Grammy? <laughs> uh, amazing. It's amazing. It, it never gets old. Obviously, you know, we don't do it for awards, you know, but I like winning. So. <laughs> Six Grammy nominations, so. a Billboard a Music Award nomination, and of course, uh, your Dove Awards. Yeah, yeah. So they look really nice in my office. <laughs> um, but ultimately, what the real reward for me is, is hearing about how these songs have somehow been woven into the fabric of people's lives. Yeah. That they dance to these songs at their weddings, and they play them on their graduation days. and you know, they bury loved ones with a song in the background, you know, and those are the moments that really matter the most. The power of music. Okay, have yeah. you been someplace where you either heard your songs on the radio somewhere and you're, or you're driving down the street and like, that's me, that is me. <laughs> <laughs> um, well, there was a time when I was in a airport shuttle and the, one of my songs came on the radio and I'm sitting around like 10 people that I don't know. And I had like this internal conflict of like nudging the person next to me and being yeah. like, I'm on the radio. Right right. <laughs> <laughs> but but I just cool. held it together. I didn't say yeah. anything. Because sometimes yeah. you forget, like if you're in the studio and you do your song, it's your music. You're so used to hearing it. You have to stop and go, wait a minute. Other people are hearing it right yeah, now too. Yeah, it's crazy. I want to wrap up with, we talk a lot about today's generation. I think every generation does that. I remember my mom talking about our generation was lost. Yeah. Look, Ma, I have a yeah. job. <laughs> right? Okay, but uh, it, it, what is it you think that people your age may be missing and how do we give that to them? You know, we have members of Jack and Jill in our audience this morning, and one of the things they talk about what they instill in their kids is what they might not be getting in school, just basic civics, how to you know, respect one another and you know, be leaders of tomorrow. Yeah, I think that's so important. What I talk to my kids a lot about, my wife and I just celebrated nine years of being married and we have three little boys. Okay, so, you look um, like you're 10 years old. Yeah, I know. <laughs> Beige don't age, yeah. praise God. <laughs> and black uh, don't cry. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> um, so I, say this to my kids a lot, like just trying to get them to understand this idea of vision, like having a vision for your life. 
I think that our priorities are shaped by our purpose. That when you find what your purpose really is, when you have a goal to aim at, then you align your life and your decisions with that ultimate purpose that you have. So I what's think the that's vision what for your new your new recording? Uh, that people everywhere would hear it <laughs> and experience <laughs> it. Yeah, the new album is Citizen of Heaven, and I got some great friends on it. Kirk Franklin's on yeah. it. Gary LaVox from Rascal Flatts. Jen Johnson from Bethel Music. It's an amazing project. I can't wait for people to hear it. That's fantastic. Thank you for stopping by. Yeah, thank you and so much I, for having me. I know you have to go now, so we prepared this song for you. Come on. Get right, church, and let's go home. <laughs> <laughs> Get right, church, church, and let's go home. Thank you very much. Yeah. <laughs>